Okay. We are uh, going to drink another Wicked Weed uh, French Toast Imperial Stout brewed with cinnamon, vanilla, and Here, let me hold that maple syrup. <laughs> I got it that time. I just went by the picture. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, this one's going to be interesting. Yeah. This particular one brewed in Asheville, North Carolina, and it's 8.8% 8 .8 alcohol by volume. Bottled on one twelve of 2018, so. Yep. I may be looking forward to this one more than any in recent memory. Usually those uh, those gimmick flavors don't do anything for me, but but I have faith in them. And I don't think this is added. I don't think this is fake. They somehow got the cinnamon, vanilla, and maple syrup just out of the natural ingredients, so we'll see. We, uh, again, probably could have had some French toast with this. You probably should. I'm not sure um, which way this is supposed to go. If anyone is watching that can whip up some sugar. French toast. You like powdered sugar on yours? Yeah, I like, yeah. I used to just do powdered sugar and butter, but now I do powdered sugar, butter, chips? and maple syrup. Is that chocolate chips? No. I don't know what that is. We're trying to go by the picture here. I think the picture <laughs> is not a, reading the description it's a at misrepresentation all. Of, of what this actually is. Maybe it's vanilla beans. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Could you, be. You guys don't want to hear us talk. So, anywho. Yes. I want to give you the honors. Oh, wow. I think I'm trying to keep our cap intact until we can identify what is actually stamped on the top. And this looks like a fall beer with all the, the uh, red leaves on there. Somewhere else over there. Kind of hungry for breakfast right now. Yeah. Did you know there's a White Castle coming in down the street? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where the old QT is. Was. Mm -hmm. But we digress. What would be the best beer to eat with White Castle? Drink with White Castle. I, we'd have to say Budweiser or something <laughs> like that. That's a nice looking looking beer. It is a nice looking beer. So we get the nice full head. You can tell that's an indication there. This is not a barrel age. This is just. At 8.8%, it's almost. Oh, yeah, it is an Imperial. Okay. It's a nice looking head. I'm sorry, I think I actually gave myself a little more. I'm going to do my best to not comment on that statement. I'll give you the goodness, though. There. There's a, oh, sorry. That's, Every that's time I right. turn, there's another drip. Right, well, you know. There you go. That might have been the one. That happens sometimes. But. <sighs> All right. So, so, let's get a aroma. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the maple. All right, I'm going to warn you up front. This might be a little longer video. And Jesse doesn't even like stouts that much. I could pour this over breakfast cereal. And we did have this sit out day. for a little bit. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I'm just feeling it. Yeah, it's nice. It's a little closer to room temperature. The scuttle of dried leaves blowing across the sidewalk brisk cool days. Filled with invigorating mountain air, the sweet welcome scent of French toast cooking in our family's kitchens. All right, sorry. This is winter, and French toast imperial stout is the perfect accompaniment to the season. This robust dark dark stout is finely complemented. By zesty cinnamon, smooth vanilla, and the comforting sweetness of the only, I'm sorry, yeah, of only the best maple syrup. 
cheers to the season. All right, so it sounds like they brewed this in January for fall. There you go. Okay, now that he's read that, I I have changed my statement before. I'm not going to say until he tastes it, but yeah, I I figured they got the flavors just out of the ingredients they brewed with, but it's pretty clear, and if they didn't, I don't know, it's some kind of evil magic they got going on, but it tastes like there is just cinnamon. Oh, you've already tasted it? Oh, yes. Oh. Cinnamon and maple syrup just poured right into this. I'm trying, yeah, I'm thinking that's what I'm smelling mainly is just the maple syrup. And usually I... Maybe a hint of vanilla. I don't like those flavors that just get dumped in, but this one is working. So there we go. That's nice. It's smooth. Yeah. What I would like is to use this as the liquid ingredient to bake a loaf of bread. And then to cut that into slices and then cook it into French toast. And then thicken this somehow and pour it as syrup on top of the French toast. And then drink some with it while I'm eating the <laughs> French toast. So you want to eat and drink it? Yes. That's good. Uh, at, first, at first I didn't get any dryness, but it's dry. It lingers, a nice lingering sugary yep. taste. I like it. It hints of a fall drive through Vermont with the leaves changing really where you stop off at a corner depot and taste their <laughs> fresh maple syrup and then get drunk off of it. Off the drink. So well, you know, according to the elf, he, you know, syrup is a food group. Now, what obscure movie reference are we That referring? was the elf. I know. <laughs> I was going to post a trivia question for mm. all of your viewers. Follow the link down at the bottom. <laughs> Don't worry, there, subscribe. Yep. Maybe I should subscribe someday. You probably should. Probably should. But then the feds could track you down. <laughs> this is really good. You know, good, good lacing. Yeah. It's good. It's. It seems to me is the alcohol is a lot higher than eight point eight. I mean, eight point eight is still a lot. Yeah. But it kind of has that that bourbon, but right. Yep. Yeah, it, it even with all the sweetness, you can tell this is an imperial stout right off the bat. It's it's that first and foremost, and then you get somehow a cinnamon French toast. Yeah. I mean it is what it says it is, so it's put together nicely. I almost feel like we shouldn't have read the label. We should have just drank it first. Oh, sorry, so. I wasn't comprehending what I was saying anyway because I was struggling just to read it. Yeah, it was impressive. The print is so small. The print's <laughs> super small and it's over leaves with veins going through the leaves. I mean, if you can read that, then I want to know who your your eye doctor is. <laughs> well, look, at, I didn't notice a... Wow. Was that leaf on that? Maybe that's look a... This. Now, um, because Jesse is cheap, he will be super impressed that we have a flat bottom. Mm -hmm. It is not indented to falsely give us the impression that we have more beer than we we are actually getting. Asheville, North Carolina. I'll have to think of a reason to go there on vacation. You don't have to. It's beautiful. All right, then. Beautiful. Down around Knoxville, Johnson City, yeah. Tennessee. It's beautiful. Really? You're naming a completely different state than what I'm talking about. Well, yeah, but Asheville's right there on the border. Really? Yeah. Really? It's phenomenal. Okay, then. My niece goes to school right right by there. All right. Yeah. 
There's another brewery there, but I can't say their name right now. Okay. We may come visit you if you send us an all-expenses-paid ticket. <laughs> and then we'll talk about you in this video. Next video. Not this one. This one we're talking about. Wicked Weed. Did, did you show the bottle? I don't know. The, the, like the artichoke heart leaves no, there? Artichoke. <laughs> That's what it looks like. We, I always think a hop cone looks like an artichoke. We believe that's hops, but apparently it kind of looks like artichoke. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I wonder how much money they put into doing that. I don't know. I'm a, Obviously, I don't drink stouts a lot because I'm drinking. You're just soaking it all in, enjoying every it. little sip you can get. I love it. Kind of like the... Uh, Bourbon County that we had. Mm, nice. Yes, we're getting better because that video ran, I don't know, like three and a half hours. <laughs> so. But. It's not every day you get to try a new Imperial. Stuff. No. And again, we received this from a friend. Another AB InBev product. So, thank you, friend. Yes. Thank you, friend. Friend, I'll say it again. I said in the last video, if you run out of space in your house for all this beer, I'll gladly store it for you and drink half to all of it. He gets some good stuff. Yeah. The IBM Bev is, is pretty much picking up. I don't know. I guess it's a good thing. It, they increase distribution. If you are a good microbrewery and you take off and you gain some popularity, they snap you up. Yep. And once they do that, they increase your distribution. They increase your popularity anymore. I was a little worried, but I think they've done a good job of keeping the quality. We'll see what happens. But I agree 100%. A lot of them... <clears throat> I'm not going to say the one I'm thinking of, but it's in Chicago. But I think the quality may have went down a little bit, yeah. but they still make good beer. But all the other ones, I think they pretty much left them alone. Yep. You know, they just have the exposure now. And, you know, yeah. everybody's got their opinions and thinks, you know, oh, it's so horrible. But, you know, I'm sure the original owner of Wicked Weed is not thinking it's too horrible. No, I... <laughs> I don't think he is. He's sitting on his yacht somewhere going, it's really nice that I get to take advantage of their bottling plant and put <laughs> artichoke hearts on the, the neck of my bottle. Not hearts, leaves. Oh, leaves. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> See the thorn? I. You can't I, argue that's not a thorn. I, I won't. I won't argue. <laughs> All right. All right. So, wow, this one's gone 13 minutes. All right. We need to cut this one off. All right. Would you buy this if you saw this? I would. I I always have to preface that by I have to see the price. I mean, if this is a $23 bottle, no. Let's just say you're having a get-together Saturday night at your house, and you're having all the coolest people over. Yeah. Including myself. Would you buy this? Just one bottle. Just one if bottle. If it was $13. Here's what I would do. I would. I would buy that. Something cheap. I would give you guys whatever else I bought, and I would drink that in front of you. Mm -hmm. And comment about how awesome it is the whole time. Okay. So that's why I have no friends <laughs> other than you. So. That's why we spend our Friday nights doing beer reviews. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, except for that other friend who's going to give me lots of beer. <laughs> All right, scale one to five. I think I know your answer. I love stouts. Stouts automatically start at a higher level for me. This isn't the probably the best beer I've ever had. But because they said what it was going to be, it's going to be cinnamon, vanilla, and maple syrup in an imperial. That's what it is. So it's a five. That's exactly what they, they tell me it is on the label. That's exactly what I thought you were going to grade it. And that's what exactly I'm going to give it to. Wow. 
but just like the Bourbon County, look at that. I mean, I know there's still some left in there, but I keep drinking it, and it just... It's just... It's syrup. It is. But, again, nice lacing. Real good beer. If you can get it, I would recommend grabbing it. Matt obviously recommends it. So, maybe you can make uh, loaves of bread with it. And then <laughs> make your French toast. Make your French toast. <clears throat> you get any final comments? I would probably also go good poured over vanilla, vanilla, vanilla ice cream. So very cool. Why you listen to Vanilla Ice? <laughs> <laughs> sure. All right. We'll talk to you guys later.